friends, it's Miss Lexi here. The only quiet place I could go to read a book was my car, and that's the only place I have a CD player. So, I brought one of our favorite books from school, 47 Beavers in the Deep Blue Sea, home, so I could read it to you guys. But since I have the CD, we can listen to the CD. So I'm gonna put that on now so we can listen to it. Western Sea and the trappers trap so merrily for the streams are oh so beavery. One day in 1842, a trapper by the name of Stu came down to the beach and said, Hello, I need a boat or a big canoe. I need a lift on down the coast to the nearest beaver trading post where they'll shake my hand and raise a toast to Trapper Stu who trapped the most. So he piled what he caught in a rather small boat and asked the young sailor to give him a quote. No way, said the sailor with fear in his throat. There's too many beavers, it ain't gonna float. And as they debated man to man, the beavers developed a curious plan. And the beavers pulled up on the oars and the beavers rowed away from shore. And the beavers two and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. No one thought that beavers were capable of scheming. If you'd say they'll row away, most folks would say you're dreaming. But here they were and there they went across the briny blue, calling out a cadence like a real Olympic crew. For a week or two, the beaver crew rode the Great Pacific, till from the north a storm blew in with winds that were terrific. And one by one their oars blew off and vanished, mercy me! And 47 beavers were left bobbing in the sea. Well, the beavers bobbed upon the sea, and the beavers sobbed in misery. And the beavers two, and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. This is bad, they cried. We feel like Noah in his ark. Then their bad got worse, cause they were staring at a shark. Alas, alack, we're doomed, they wailed. The shark showed his incisors. Adrift at sea, and now will be a fishy's appetizers. Then one small beaver stood and faced the others from the bow. He said, our time will come someday, but it ain't coming now. When we all work together, there's a lot that we can do. So let's show that big bully that we've got incisors too. Ninety-four big beaver teeth flashed out from the boat. One old shark was so surprised his heart jumped in his throat. Never mind, he muttered as he vanished in the blue. It's no fun biting dinner if your dinner's biting you. Well, the beavers flashed their pearly whites and the shark, he vanished out of sight. And the beavers, two, and the beavers, three. Seven beavers on the big blue sea. That's good, they said, but we're still stuck. We'll die here on a reef. Not so fast, the young one said. God gave us more than teeth. With that, he jumped back to the stern and dangled down his tail and started slapping water like a little beaver whale. Soon the others joined him, and with all that beaver power, their little boat was skimming waves at 40 miles an hour. And the beavers slapped their big flat tails, and the beavers raced like killer whales. And the beavers two, and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. Seven 
Beavers in a Dinner Show. So why'd I tell this story? What's the point for me and you? We might find ourselves someday trapped by Trapper Stew or staring down our own big sharks or facing nasty weather. But we've been blessed and things go best when we all work together. And the beavers pulled up on the oars and the beavers rowed away from shore. And the beavers two and the beavers three. Forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea. Forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea. Well, that was the end, friends. Thanks for watching.